Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use LOD or level of detail uh, in 3ds Max. So, uh, what is an LOD? LOD is uh, something where uh, for the when I'm using a uh, moving camera, if uh, a distance, uh, a typical distance uh, from the camera, the objects will be uh, actually been uh, created in a lesser uh, number of segments or maybe lesser details. And when it comes uh, in front of the camera, uh, the level of the detailing will be uh, get increased automatically. Now that is a very important thing in uh, you know uh, in case of. Uh, uh, games but nowadays it also very important uh, for for any kind of uh, presentation of 3d where you really want it to you know uh, i mean save your uh, rendering time and everything so let's see how we can do it so i'll just create a uh, teapot over here i think this is the most important tool in 3s max teapot okay so i'll just reduce its uh, segment level to one so that it will uh, you know, it's the most uh, basic uh, structure, almost no structure. But this will be my the uh, object that will be the most, uh, it's the farthest more off from the camera. So this I just rename is as low. Then just uh, clone it by pressing Control V. Just copy this too and make it. I'm, I have to use copy. I cannot use instance because if I increase the segment, everything will be. Now uh, increase so it will be mid three levels of uh, uh, you know then again control V is should be high okay high will be around 10 and where is the mid uh, press H to get the mid so, sorry it will be let's say around four the default values so there are three objects uh, in different uh, uh, of different uh, uh, detailing level one is a very low one is a mid level another was the most highest level so it can like this also so this is these are the three things that we can uh, actually do and uh, remember that we have to put it in one position because uh, otherwise uh, it's not gonna work in that very good. So just uh, limit this up. Fine. Now, then you uh, go to the helpers and uh, under the helpers uh, there are VRML 97 and VRML is actually stands for Virtual Reality Markup Language, which is uh, uh, very good for you know, games and everything. So. Uh, now there you can find LOD or level of details. This is your LOD, and by selecting this, go to the modify panel, and you can start the picking object. Like uh, you can either from take it from here, but as you can see, this uh, three objects are already there in the same position. This will be something really really hard to select or pick. So press H. So first low, I will pick it the low and I'll just change the distance let's say it will be around uh, 350 fine now again I just uh, uh, that uh, the radius will be shown because what what how many uh, how much distance you have to be uh, further from the camera to get this kind of uh, 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 lowest details so ne next it will be the mid I will just make it uh, around uh, let's say 350 okay just make this 400 450 and this one is 350 fine now the most important one that is the highest level and high will be around uh, let's say uh, 200 within 200 of range 400 I'll just change it right now okay so that's it uh, I have uh, maintained three different you can see this from uh, from my you know uh, the, uh, so this is will be my high within this range of the camera the object will be in high detail and uh, within this range of uh, the camera the object will be in the mid level 
and from this one around say 450 will be the lowest one so right now what I'll do I'll just create one just uh, switch off the peak object okay now I have to go to the utilities node and if you don't find level of detail over here you can call it from uh, more level of detail so this will come up so this is a kind of a toggle so this is a level of detail but now if you select this select one object and you want to create the new set it won't happen it will say all level of detail object must be in grouped so that's how what you have to do select all the objects or the different levels of details and make it under a group named LOD or whatever you want so now select the group and create new set now you can see the levels of the details will be added one is actually 10 stands for the low 30 for mid and 100 for height it is the percentage of target images that that you are actually going to get now it's uh, almost done now I have to see the results now for that result you just uh, can get a camera over there and if you hit uh, around this I hope this is a maximum I'm just uh, uh, confirming by this you know the lowest one oops it's already too big okay so uh, just hit C to convert it to camera now if it would render it's a, it's in a mid-level range okay go beyond that okay it's almost uh, gone it's it is the, this is the basic level this is a, a basic level absolutely the lowest version of your model that will be the lowest and if you hit over here there you can see my mid level you can understand by the by the detailing of of the object that's the mid level of the uh, uh, mid level of uh, your uh, object and when you come near to it you can see it's not yet done yes now you can see that uh, whenever the camera is within the range of that uh, distance it's become uh, complete you know uh, with complete details so whenever the camera is nearest to that particular object you will get the highest detail highest level of details of your model so that is a uh, uh, LOD is all about you can really you know uh, what can I say you can really uh, um, help the rendering time with this it's a very important one and it's also a very important one for the games uh, because there are three different level of uh, uh, you know, details are there should be there one is for very lower and one is mid level and uh, the highest highest one so when the camera is coming uh, in front of the object or closer to the object it will get you give you the uh, the maximum details if you if you uh, gave that uh, I mean far from the object it will give you uh, a glimpse of the object so that um, you can understand what is actually going on over there the outline a sort of thing so that uh, you don't have you don't lost the impression of the object but yet it will help you in the rendering because it uh, the moment you get back from the object it will actually take a huge uh, rendering time because lots of objects will be come up inside your uh, scene inside your uh, frame the camera frame so it's it will be very he helpful for you so hope you enjoy this please uh, subscribe to our youtube channel to stay updated and also like our facebook page for different informations and also follow us on twitter so hope you enjoy this thank you very much